Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to install and set up Demuel, the Dreamcast emulator. Now I have already covered one Dreamcast emulator already called Redream. This is a brilliant emulator which loads loads of Dreamcast games and pretty much runs on a PC flawlessly. However, after I did that video, I had a few people get back to me saying that even after they followed everything in the instructions, they still were having problems, ranging from Redream instantly closing when being opened, not loading games, random shutdowns, crashes, and a few other technical issues. I'm going to show you how to install Demuel now as another option if you are having problems and difficulties with Redream. Both Demuel and Redream have their own good points and bad points, but honestly, I think they both work brilliantly well, and either way, it's best to have both as an option. So if you want to learn how to set up and install Redream, then you can, as you can check that out here, as I've already covered that in this video. For now, we're going to be installing Demuel, so let's get started. Alright, first of all, we're going to need the emulator itself. Simply go to Google and type Dreamcast Emulator Demuel. The website that we should get should look like this one. All you have to do is download the latest version and put it onto your desktop or wherever else that you're downloading it to. Make a folder and unzip everything and in there you should end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Now currently we can't actually do anything with Demuel. You can open it but you'll get the main menu and nothing else. You're going to need the BIOS in order to actually do anything with it. Now, I'm not actually allowed to tell you where to get the BIOS from because of reasons. However, a quick Google search should be all you really need. Once you get the BIOS, simply rename it to dc.zip and put it into the BIOS folder. Now that's done, you should be able to open up Demuel and tell it to run the Dreamcast. Once this happens, you should be greeted to the main menu of the Dreamcast itself. Exit this as it's just basically done to show that everything is up and running and working well. So if we go back to the main folder, you need to now add a new folder and call it games or ROMs or whatever it is you want to call it where you're going to be placing your own games. You can then make dump files of your own games which is really really easy to do and once you get those you can drag them into your games folder and you should be able to keep them as zip files. I'm able to keep them as zip files on mine, however some people have told me that that didn't work for them, so you may need to unzip each game that you create a dump file of. Now that that's all done and set up, before we actually start playing anything, we're going to need to set up some configurations. In the main menu of Demuel, once we open it up, we have a few options, and we can see that we have config and video. This obviously sets up your video quality and stuff. You can change this to what you want, but I recommend that for now, you don't mess too much with it. GD-ROM is where your games are, you need to tell us where your game files are and where they will be located. If you go to file, there are several save state options, however I don't recommend that you use these as I've tried these myself in the past and they either just crash the game or they just don't work. If we go into plugins and paths, this is basically if you're adding anything else like the Atomis Wave or any other features. You also have the option of DX11 Old and DX11. I suggest that you put this on DX11 Old as I found that the games just run better with it, and if I mess with DX11, it kind of messes a few things up, so it's probably best just to leave it as it is. If we go down to GD ROM image, that should be what's shown here, but you might need to change this to one of the other options, depending on what game you're trying to get to run. Generally, I leave these settings as they are, because I've not come across any issues while leaving everything as it currently is. If we then move over to controls, this should be fairly obvious really, as you need to set up the controller that you're going to be using, or the keyboard, depending on what it is you want to actually use. So now everything should be up and ready. If we go to GD-ROM, you should get a menu like this. Pick select, find the game that you want, double click, and then press OK. And then go to file, select run Dreamcast, and the Dreamcast should load, and you should be up and running playing your games pretty much straight away, and that should be basically it. 
So that's basically it for this guide. I hope it helped anyone who was having any issues or troubles with your dream, and I hope that this helps sort out any of the issues that you were facing. If anyone needs any more advice, just drop a comment in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to get back to you and help out if I can. Well, that's it for this video guys, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and please subscribe!